story readers. I hope you're doing well today. I have a question for you. Can you picture in your mind something that you've always wanted to do or be or have in your life? Can you picture that in your mind? Perfect. Bring that picture with you as we read our story. What you can see, you can be by David A. Anderson with illustrations by Donald Jones. You can fight a fire, if you so desire. Or do a dance, if you take the chance. Or build a jet and learn to fly, or whatever you see in your mind's eye. Because what you can see, you can be. Believe it so, and it's true. It's just that easy. It's up to you. Plant a seed within your mind, and it will blossom in due time. Because what you can see can be. It's very simple. Here's what to do. Now think of something good, because it will come true. You got your picture in your mind? Picture yourself having or being or doing whatever you desire today. Put the picture in a bubble and let it float away. Can you do that? Put your picture in a bubble, let it float away. Trust that it will happen. Let go of it all the way. Don't forget to say thank you. Then go outside and play. Now don't you doubt and don't you fear because that what blocks out what you want to hear. Just see it and believe it and claim it's already yours. Know that it will happen and that opens all the doors. Remember what you can see, you can be. You can picture for now or picture for later. For your mom or dad, or your pet alligator. But be careful in what you choose. Keep your thinking positive and you'll never lose. Because what you can see will come to be. Knowing you can do this, you needn't worry or fear. Good will always guide you when you're quiet enough to hear. Be the good around you and know it will be there. Give love and you'll receive love. That's a promise we all share. Bye now and remember that what you think and see has a wonderful way of becoming the person you will be. The end. Isn't that a wonderful story about manifesting the things that you want in your life, making them come to be?